focus on stunts and revenge. So, ah, what you're yes, or even why? Would I really? be able to watch the last one? Actually, I was going to say if you wanted told, to uh, uh, back get her Soma, but sure. Well, uh, I guess drop it off Soma you seems busy, busy anyways. I do want to All learn right, how then, to use the sword after I'm free, so. Oh, I just went out west no, for about to get the sanitizers. Thank you so much for the omelet. Oh. I don't know what's oh. more important. Why do you like that? A lot of good arena fights. Hopefully, Sharik like this. The individual is the <laughs> I hope you did. You're a good cook, Lily. You helped me last night. So, where would you like to go? Somewhere private, perhaps. Mm. Not to a uh, close quarters. There were also some green orcs. Not too coarse cold. Yeah, they're just orcs. We could always go to the beach. Sure, to get lead the way. There's a beach over that way. I guess oh, were you not here for the red orc fight? Not, we'll take the normal way, because if we go the back way, there might be something they, spooky they, back there, and I really don't want to deal with it. Them in <laughs> chain and you wouldn't have to deal with it. I only say that because I have to <sighs> my own fair share of people. Alright. Hmm? You wouldn't have to deal with it, I would. They all have at this point. <laughs> oh, you're fine with me joining, correct? Of course. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Do we have two lovely ladies who would say no to you that? Know, <laughs> you know what? We will just take the back way. We got the very handsome man to protect us. You don't even know what I look like. No, but I can tell by your personality you must be very handsome. I won't disagree. Everything okay, Miss Basil? I'd like to double check over this way now. We saw something and heard something a little spooky this way. Want to make sure nothing spooky pops up again. Like an animal? <laughs> something like that. There we go. Not close quarters, but it's also very private. Perfect. <clears throat> we have the whole beach. Just for us. Just for us. Hmm. Here looks as good as anywhere else, in the shade, keep you out of the sun. Thank you, such a gentleman. Aren't they always? Always. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So it's safe to say you know uh, exactly nothing about swordplay? Not swordplay, no. I watched my brother. He used to do a lot of sword dancing, but it's a little different. I see. I assume... And it was a long time ago. The two of you can dance, yes? Yes. I can. Then that will help. I I'm not great at it, but I can dance. 
<laughs> Today, we will go over the basics of footwork. To be a great swordsman, you need to know how to swing a sword. But to be the best swordsman you can be, you need to know how to move your feet as well. A strong foundation makes for a strong fighter. Understood? Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm going to give you a few movements that we will go through today, and you can practice in your own times. And the more comfortable you get with it, the easier you will navigate around a fight if one occurs. Now, these movements are primarily used for uh, sword fighting, but little uh, fun fact, they can be used for pretty much any sort of fighting, even unarmed. Pole arms, sword and shield, mm -hmm. daggers. It is transferable. If you can get this right, your journey to being better with a sword will be a lot easier. So, are we ready? Mm -hmm. yes. Normally I would have you do this with a sword, but for now we can practice. I want you just to focus on your feet. So, act like we're in a fight. Stand as if you were about to attack me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Good. Both of you have good instincts. You want to turn your body to the side. You have less of an attack area, while also allowing yourself to reach if you need to. Though I will say, you want to point your front foot forwards, your toes towards the enemy. Your left foot, sideways, a strong base. As we will be using most of our movements, we'll be starting on the back foot. Very good. <clears throat> so. We'll begin with a first step. This is called an advancing step. This is how you close the distance between you and your opponent. This is very important if you are fighting someone with a polearm or a longer sword than you. If you can get within close range to them, they won't have the reach necessary. You can get in, you can get under their armors, you can do a lot of damage with daggers or short swords, which I recommend to both of you. They are small, easy to use in close quarters, but they still pack more of a punch than a dagger. Short swords are one of the easier swords to learn with. Simple, one-handed, light, perfect for ladies like yourself. So, <clears throat> you're in your fighting stance. Your front foot is facing the enemy. Your back foot is turned slightly to the side. The first movement we're going to do is called an advancing step to close in with your opponent. See? Now I am much closer. This is much better than if I was to close the distance like this with you. Because, if you notice, during my movements, as soon as I lift my right foot, I am suddenly off balance. I'm at a disadvantage. Anyone who is smart and good at swordplay can close in with you, and it's game over. So, the purpose of this movement, again, is to close distance, but to do it in a way that your balance does not kilter. You glide forward. That way, you cannot be tripped, you cannot be pushed, and you're upright and still in a fighting position. The way this movement is performed, move your weight onto the back foot very slightly. You don't want to be leaning too far back, because a skilled swordsman will notice that, and they will know what you're about to do. So, slightly onto your back foot, bend your knee, and spring forward, landing on the ball of your left foot. Give it a shot. Very good. Just like that. <clears throat> you will notice, rather than uh, jumping forward and landing on it, so to speak, you're more uh, skipping. Like this. Hmm? At all times, you are stationary, ready to attack. You're still in your fighting stance. You have not adjusted your weight to any way. You have given no real opening that an enemy can attack you. The contrary step to this is called the retreating step. It is the same, but in reverse. Shift your weight to the ball of your front foot and spring back onto the ball of your back foot. Same deal, in reverse. 
The purpose of this step is to create distance. Say you're in a position you're not happy with, with your enemy. You want to gain distance, take a second, recenter yourself, get back into fighting. That is the best way to do that. For example, if you and I were too close, now I have the range. I mm-hmm. can disengage, I can run I if see. I need to, or I can take another weapon out. I can do many things. You buy yourself time, but you do it in a way, again, if I was to retreat, like this, I'm off kilter as soon as I lift that foot. You would close the distance and it would be game over for me. So, the two steps, advancing step and retreating step. We'll practice those now, just so you get the feel for them and I can adjust your stance if need be. Just run through them. Very good. Remember, it is a small (laughs) skip rather than a jump, okay? You want to keep your head and your shoulders as flat as possible. Very good. Remember not to lean too far in either direction, again. If I am fighting someone, and I am going to advance step, if I do this, it's very easy to know that I'm about to do this. Same as if I was doing this, it's very easy to know I'm about to retreat. So you want to be quick and snappy, like this. See? You will feel this in your thighs. But the more you do it, the better you will get at it. Remember to keep your body turned. You don't want to expose too much of your other side. Good. If I am to uh, admit a vulnerability for once, this one took me a while. I'm not much of a dancer. Well, I wasn't. (laughs) But you two have picked it up very quickly. I'm very impressed with both of you. We we'll move on to the. Ah, I see. I noticed when you started your fighting stance, it was like this. I wondered where you got that from. So, <laughs> that uh, one or two movements is the easiest one. It is a simpler one. Again, to engage or disengage if you need to. Now, what if you're up against a wall? You need to give yourself room or switch your stance. You need to do it in a way... Well, maybe I should go through this one first. There's another motion to move forward. It's called the passing step. It allows yourself to switch your stance. If you're using a sword, it means you have to hold it differently. Or if you're using two-handed weapons, it allows you to get closer. But it's a good way to ensure that you can move and reposition yourself as need be, depending on where you're fighting. Again, closes the distance. Very good. You can also, as you have already seen, combine it with a stab. You suddenly have moved your sword from all the way back here, right up in front of them which is very good with a short sword. You want to be quick, you want to be decisive. And from there, well, you can fill the rest in. So, the advancing step, you're in the same position. Put your weight on the ball of your front foot and move your back foot around close to you, but not hitting your foot. Forward, and you're switching your stance. You're rotating your front foot around. Remember to point your toes when you land. Otherwise, you're too far to the side. Mm. And you can do the same thing in reverse. As we talked, advancing step has retreating step, passing step has retreating passing step. Very simple. Just like this. You see how it can wildly change your stance and how someone has to uh, come at you to fight you. Very handy. Of course, you can also chain them together. Mm. All of these movements allow you to move and position yourself around the field and around the fight 
without putting yourself at a disadvantage. So, let's say you want to switch your stance by doing a reverse parsing step. However, you don't have the room behind you. Say you're uh, up against a wall or the edge of a cliff or something. We're going to do what is called a triangle step. Now, this is a harder one. So, you want to move your back foot around to be in line with your front foot and then your back foot back around. And you notice you have not moved. You are still in the same position fight-wise as you were before, but your stance has changed. You can adjust yourself. One, two, three. Just like that. And you can do it in reverse as well, as with both of them. This one is a personal favorite of mine. If I find I'm in a fight with someone, and I am <laughs> outmatched... Suddenly... Oh, I see. The movement allows you to conceal the drawing of a dagger. If you are that way inclined, of course. But for you, it allows you to position yourself to move things. Again, I am left-handed, but yours would be different. So, <clears throat> those are the first... I guess that's one thing we have in common. Dagger work. Nice. <laughs> Again, this is applicable to oh, dagger work. Ah, I see. <laughs> Again, whatever I'm doing up here, the fundamentals are down here on the floor. Doesn't matter if I have a dagger in my left hand, my right hand, the fundamentals are still there. I can move all around the battlefield, wherever I need to go, without putting myself at a disadvantage <laughs> to the enemy. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so. Go over those movements in your own time. Obviously, you don't need a sword to do it, but well, once your sword is repaired, we'll go over some ways you can combine them using strikes while you're fighting, switching your stance. Mm -hmm. You see how it can be applicable? But mm -hmm. for now, footwork, strong foundation, build up from there. Just as you go about the day, work on your advancing step, your retreating step, as those you will use more often than not. And of course, you can uh, combine them to do, uh, well, uh, many things you need to do. So, I have to close in with you, like that. Or, I could just chain a bunch of passing steps to get to you. Either way, just like that. Just like dancing, it's all about movement. Any questions? None that I could think of. Hmm. Means I get to dance more again. <clears throat> I have a reason to this time. Very good. For next lesson, once you have your weapons, we will work on a uh, stance that suits you. I myself am partial to the duelist stance. This allows me to do quick movements, while also being quite defensive with it. But there are other stances that you can do with longer swords, depending on what you're doing. For now, work on your feet. And we can work on more uh, okay. tomorrow. That's all I have for you now. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> of course. Well, thank you. Taking time of your busy, mysterious day to go and help us is very sweet. Anything for the two of you. I feel, uh, I feel guilty, I'll admit. What for? For uh, what I had to do in the bathhouse and the subsequent fallout of it. Do not take pleasure in that. Well, the guard would have done that for any other reason anyway. You don't kind of feel bad. You don't. Not at all. Hmm. How much is uh, she filled in on things? She knows bits and pieces. She's getting information here and there. She's found out a lot about things that I was not expecting her to know. 
because other people don't know how to close their mouths. Luckily, she does. So. She seems quick-witted. You can trust her. Mm hmm And once she gets out of freedom, she gets everything. How far away from her freedom is she? What was it we said? 20? It was 20 to 30, then I made 5 at the fighting pits. So 15 to 25. We're getting there. This may be a couple more days and we should be able to. <sighs> Very good. You work hard. I like that. And hopefully I can sell enough of the bathhouse soap to actually make up for that. You'll get there. And then after this, you get to choose if you want to continue working at the bathhouse or if you want to do something else. I'm sure Gurban would absolutely love to hire you. He needs the help. Especially as a cook. We'll see. We'll see indeed. Obviously, I don't have to take clients to work at the bathhouse either. True. There are a few ways to earn money know. at the bathhouse without taking clients. Right, Miss Basil? Oh, that only that is true. man I ever took as a client ended up, you know. I do it both. Yeah, you ended up killing him, so... <laughs> Again, I am sorry for that. Needed, it's okay. needed to happen, though. I I'm sure there was a reason. A step in a long line of uh, making this presence, or well, this province, sorry, more secure for everyone, yourselves included. Some more information I will tell you once you're free. Trust me on that one. That one's going to be a big one, and you're going to be very excited to hearing about it. All right. Well. <laughs> Hold out your hand. Hopefully this will expedite the process of you spreading your wings. No longer a cage. That's five silver right there. The one thing I don't like about... <laughs> the one thing I truly fear. A cage. <sighs> you... You're too kind to us. Like I said, I look after my people. <laughs> and we are so glad you do. Of course, Miss Basil. Now remember, do your footwork, otherwise you'll earn some bruises next time we uh, have a <laughs> session. Hey. Gotta go over footwork anyway for men's training. Hmm. I think she wants to spar Perfect. next time. Try some of those moves I taught you. You should be able to uh, surprise her once or twice. Now okay. run along, you two. Go do it is whatever bathhouse workers do. <laughs> we advertise by being beautiful and walking around, of course. Well, you do that well. <laughs> Come on, 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 on this Lily. Beauty. Maybe. Of course. So I'm sure. Have a good day. Next time, I mean, for that. Fucking bitch ass camera keeps fucking freezing up. This is a new thing with VR chat.
been catching up the past few days? Holy shit. By the way... I two quests today and both are done. What? Amazing. So, a successful day. <laughs> Wait. Uh, but anyway, um, you don't happen to need a Huh? Uh, Miss Ear, so you a rabbit? Yes. What, you I have a acquired a rabbit. <laughs> for now. Um, for it to be the plus one. <laughs> don't threaten my rabbit. That's not mine, it, motherfucker. I thought it was your pet. <laughs> Why? You don't like pets? No, I'm just teasing. Well, I've I mean, Shri I've seen Shriek's like yeah, room. He's got a gig gigantic room. Why don't you just? He can, he can take care of a rabbit. Yeah, I can take care of a rabbit. A friend. Yeah. He wants to eat it. Uh -huh. What? Mm. Why? You don't eat pet rabbits. It's not a pet rabbit. You said it was your pet. She named well, it. He she became a pet rabbit. She doesn't yeah. know what the so original purpose for the rabbit was. You give it power. <laughs> See, just cause I don't know doesn't mean that I like it. It's not a pet now. Vezrin bought it for an unknown reason, and when you pet. asked why, if it was a pet, he said, "Yes." Yeah. Well, well he apparently a said not a pet, but I heard pet because he stalled so long between words that I didn't hear the other words, you know? <laughs> so you just have the blah 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 pet blah 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 brain going on. <laughs> no, it was literally, I couldn't hear the not part. He stalled and said pet for me. <laughs> okay, Miss Project, so what are, you, what are you wanting of me? What are you wanting of me? Because, yeah, I gotta yeah. hurry up and get Do some Do you work. have food for him? Or do you want a pet rabbit? I'm, the, I'm just searching out the options now. Okay. He That's works on the farm. So you just okay. buy vegetables. Rabbits would not yeah, be good he good Yeah. He would be good for on the farm. <laughs> if you can get another rabbit, they can multiply. And then you have lots of rabbits. You can have a harvest of rabbit meat. Venora. Yes, you can have conies. Oh, so just fun. real yeah. quick before you run off. Yes. Um, any health potions for sale currently? Uh, I have, uh, two. <clears throat> I'll take your entire stock. Well, hey, Wolf, is Tyr inside? I need to talk to him. Jesus, already? Yes. No, he's not. No? Well, okay. I'm glad I got here quickly. Yeah, let's go inside real quick, because I have something sure. else for you as well. Mm. All right. Um, all right. I need to find the rest of the people I have deliveries for. Kate, Sarah, I already did Papa. Oh wait, I, I, I'm a deliverer for Dredge, I'm so silly. You come inside? Alright, good, you come inside. Alright. Sorry, I was helping Wolf. Wait there, Shriek. Sh sure thing. I'm gonna show you something here. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Really? Hey, um, you and Harry. Yes. You two, uh, you two okay? So far, yes. Now then, what she puts before you is what she said. We have two advanced here. I have one major. All right. And this one's something that your father wanted. I don't know if you're prepared to buy it. His stamina potion. 
Okay. Which is v which is very hard to make and very rare. So. How much for the lot? Okay. <clears throat> Seven, seven. It's fourteen. The major is eight. Is there so seven? Wait. That's fourteen. <laughs> uh, hello, sir. One moment, please. Uh, it's 22 silver, one more, give me a second. <sighs> 31 silver for the lot. Yeah, we can handle that. I'll take it out of the forge fund. Okay. You said uh, 31, you said? Yeah, 31. Fantastic. Mm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is this where you say, don't drink it all at once? I hope not. I hope you never have to use it. That's what a healing potion is for, is then hopes you never have to use it, just insurance. Much like a sword, right? I'll uh, leave you to your business. Right. Let me know if you need anything, okay? Okay. Can you roll and see if Kyler saw that I was worried on my face? Sure. Shot. Roll d20. See if he could tell. I was worried. With an 11, yes you can, Kyler. Hmm. Is Ellen there? No. Did you see her in there? Nope. No? I think she's out and about today. <sighs> okay. Damn, what's all the potions for? <clears throat> Just stocking up, you know. In case of emergency. Look, 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 look. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I gotta start thinking about that too. I can't do anything with bandages, so I need to do potions. God, they're not expensive. I just cleaned her out out of her entire fucking stock. Uh, ever so busy bee is the uh, house that you come from, huh? You have no idea. If I'm not in meetings with people, I'm, you know, out and about trying to gather resources and <sighs> learn information or yeah. be taught things or, you know. So, oh, um, the way Marcus showed me the Undercroft, I guess you could say. And he's also having me make up a bunch of oil for, um, the you-know-what out on the water. Right. Interesting. That could be handy. Just he gave case. me enough... He gave me enough to make two, but I'm gonna see if I can't make about ten bottles worth of oil. Flammable stuff. I hope we don't need to use it. Me neither, but better safe than sorry. Mm. <sighs> you guys know I can always help around whenever you need, right? Oh yeah. You're one of the most capable people I know, actually. <clears throat> <laughs> Glad to hear it. How's the kid? He's good. 
I think uh, she's starting to finally teethe, and uh, it's been keeping me up at night. Oh. I'll tell you this much. I'm, I'm, I learned the trick from my mother when she was caring for one of the uh, one of the, the workers back in my family home. A little bit of rum or whiskey on the gums as the teeth start to come in. And all's the pain. <sighs> Shit, I'd be fucking... Wow, my teeth hurt too. Give me whiskey. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah. Oh, 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 my head. Too much whiskey. <sighs> yeah, too much whiskey. <sighs> I want to hold you. No worries, Clifford. Long way since last night. Yeah, you could say that again. Just then, right back in the shithole where we started. <laughs> well, could be worse, I suppose. I wish I could have sold you, showed you my estate. It used to be a beautiful place. Fields and fields of golden wheat, barley, as far as the eye can see. Apple, cherry, grapevine. A wonderful place. That sounds nice. It really does. <laughs> now I gotta fight for it back. <sighs> It's a running trend well, nowadays. Either way. Yeah, no kidding. Not to mention who your father's looking for. Or he's still after that old crown. I don't know how much hope we have in that anymore, but... Yeah, we've got to do what we can, I guess. Maybe one day that old griffin will become a phoenix and rise up from the ashes that once burned the place. I hope it doesn't die to begin with. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm gonna go see if I can't take a look around for Elle. She was wanting me to show her how to use a knife, so... Huh. Well, if she's learning from you, God. I'll keep my eyes open then. Yeah, I can keep... Yeah, I know how to use one of those things, and besides... I always have one close by. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Alright, I'll let you get on with your things. Gotta duck back in. Alright. Take Talk care. To you later. Oh shit, at least he paid me for it. You two okay? Yeah, we're fine. I just... Passed up an opportunity that would have been... I don't know. <clears throat> you started getting real shifty when he showed up. Everything okay with him? Want me to follow him? No, he's... Like Gelix, he has a lot of magical items on him. But he knows of Gelix and he knows people there. He has friends there. He was looking for a way to create a potion to save someone's life, bring them back from the brink of death. Life bloom potion. Yeah, I was gonna say we've heard that before. And he's... <clears throat> well, he said that if he could have access to a grove, he could probably replicate what a life bloom could do. But it's a big gamble. And that's one I don't want to put others in danger. Yeah, I mean, you've just been talking about fortifying the grove and such. I don't think just letting someone in to fuck around, especially if you don't know much about him. I mean, ah, uh, but it's. I just feel he just left two rare viscers with me, but he said I'll probably never see him again. <clears throat> he 
He said me of all people should know that the world isn't kind. Well, exactly. I hope, I, hope, I hope the world is kind to him. Well, I told him I wished him well and I hope the world was kind to him, but he said you of all people should know that the world isn't kind to you. Right, but exactly. <laughs> if he's coming here, you know, you don't trust him. You can't trust him. He's untrustworthy. So why would you lead him to the grove? Because the world has been unkind. He's kind of digging his own grave with that one. But I won't harp on about it. Just, you know, we're around if you need us. Okay? Well, he said I'll probably never see him again anyway, so... Oh, well, what's done is done. Play the cards you dealt. I know I might have kept some people safe. Yeah. I got two rare visceras from it, so at least it'll be able to help people in the future. I'll have to find out what we need to make on it. Good. I'll, uh... Tell your father I hope that helps. Um, at least that replenishes the major he had in that. Because one's a major, and, you know, those are hard to make, because it takes a rare viscera to make those. Yeah, I'll let him know. You two, uh, stay safe, okay? Well, I'm gonna go look for Miss Ladia so we can speak to someone your dad does not like too much, but we need his help in this matter. Do your homework. Long beard. Welcome back. <clears throat> you were lamenting again. <sighs> it's getting to a point where whether or not I can cash to see him, I'm going to have to do something anyway. Have you, uh... Yelled for him in the streets? I've had it yet. At the moment, I've just got enough for another conversation with Lady Sith to try and keep her informed of the situation. I think I'll do as well. Ah. My hope was to try and get someone to gain favor from all of this. Lady Sith is proposed herself to be the one to do <clears throat> a favor. If we cannot get to Zim and his support in this. Well <sighs> seeing as she already has some connections to Lord Kovas, it may be possible. We still want to get it to Tazim. We need to elevate him to a noble person here so we can turn back the ships. That is the is catalyst that point that everything is coming yes. to. <clears throat> Which is why I need him here. I also need to give him his armor, which I can't give him if he's not present. But the reason I'm wanting this to happen, we need to do something before we lose a potential asset. That being, the mercenaries to the north may start moving if we do not <clears throat> intervene soon. Right. Well, I saw him earlier today. He said he might be around, um, you know, to talk to me and such. So, if I do see him again, I will remind him that you need to talk to him pretty desperately. If I cannot, I would suggest you do so. Because right. there are more than likely going to be points where I am not going to be available. Understood. Alright, I'll leave you to your brooding. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm going to go return so that I can finish up the remainder of this armor set he asked for. <laughs> Good luck.
If I could count on your continued patronage at my stall, how's that sound? Give me some time to acquire it. We will see. If it is good <laughs> for me, I'll purchase it. If it is not, then you have got no one to stall for the other. Okay. Not mm. the first blood for that, brother. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, we got it. Disappointing. Hmm. No, the venue. Definitely not. No, that would be love. I mean, if I thought you knew it would be, that'd be nice. Technically, probably my father, since my father is a child. My grandfather is a little child.
why am I charges being so weird today? <clears throat> Track damn you. Yeah. This would be one hell of a chill spot, IRO. silicon packet, because if I eat that, I would die. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry you guys have to hear the creaking of the headset while I eat. <laughs> What do you mean? That's the flavoring. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Headset ASMR. Mmm, num num num. Kyle's just a loud eater. Everything else here is silent as fucking. But when he's eating, he's like. Mm, um, nom, nom. I love these things, but they're just so greasy. <laughs> Much better. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna quickly uh, run to the bathroom and I'll be right back. And then we'll do the journal entry. You guys enjoy the view.
that dad? What was that me? It was oh that was me? That was my body? What the fuck? That worked so well. I saw I saw someone with a sword and I was like, is that is that me or is that <sighs> That's amazing. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> I'm just gonna quickly nom something else as well, because I'm still a little hungry. This is a new snack I haven't done before on, on, on Fractured Thrones, but I love them. I'm just gonna be very greasy fingered, so I'm not gonna touch anything. Oh, they smell so good. Yum, yum, yum. Death's occupied. Classic on! Yeah. No, it's because there's, um, a lot of the DMs aren't here, so he's having to run around like a headless chicken. Yep, let me just finish this, Ricky, and then I'll dictate some stuff to you. I gotta say, there's something like... Really, uh, immersive about eating, like, what is essentially jerky. Is everything alright for the DMs? <clears throat> yeah, just IRL stuff, which means I can't show up to sessions, so... Like, changes in scheduling, unfortunately. Like, Mr. Gigabits. Hungry. Do you want some cactus? Yeah, it's snack time, everyone. Everyone bring out your snacks. We had this thing at school called Crunch and Sip. Do you guys have that? Oh yeah, my frame rate's gone to- my internet's gone to shit again. I can see it. This happened at the same time last time. So, we had like recess and lunch and stuff. But, we also had like a 15 minute thing in class, like once a day, that you would sip water and you would crunch like a snack of um, like fruit or something. And it was to encourage kids to eat, like, fruit. Tell she goes out doing stuff earlier? Well, tell him to fucking cut it out, because it's <laughs> lagging my shit. It's fine. Of all the times for the, the stream to be like laggy, now is probably the best time. It was doing this yet, it was doing this last session too, pretty much at exactly the same time, which is strange. Alright. 
snacks crunched. I need to wipe my hands because they ain't good. Internet, unfuck yourself. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. I don't know why my track is a bean, so... God, it's just one of those fucking days that everything's fucking breaking again. Where's my hand? Oh my fucking god, now my hand's not- Ah, it's just- I can't. There we go. One of those fucking days. All right, are you ready to 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 do the journal? Internet seems good now. All right, <coughs> Riggy. Oh god, my fucking hips! Fuck! <laughs> I'm so angry. Riggy. <laughs> you guys might need to refresh the stream because of the lag. That's probably a big delay. <clears throat> Today has been quite normal for the most part. I did my running training. And ran errands. <clears throat> I thought the feeling of last night would pass, but it has not. Trying to fuck it. <laughs> trying to fix shit. God damn it. <clears throat> um, the dwarves came back today. <clears throat> And spoke of ill news regarding their old. I feel as if every day there are more 
and more issues to try and handle. <clears throat> Time is running short. I just hope we can get our shit together before the imps show up. The sky is blue again, and it's quite cloudy today. Kyle. <clears throat> Not much else is fucking happening. It's one of those days, I guess. I'm really bugged about this because I was charging my shit all light all night last night and I didn't didn't fucking charge. Bloody typical. <clears throat> Thank you, Ricky. He's actually on his roof. Do you want me to go grab him? Uh, sure. I was coming to see if he had any of my the rest of my stuff ready. Be right back. <clears throat> Morden. Morden. Zoning out again. Um, Harry's in the forge looking for Somewhat. you. Oh, of course. 
Let's go looking for him in the morning, can't fucking think. <laughs> something about uh, the stuff that he needs. Come out the same doorway. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes false education is not best. You keep things tethered to the mind. Things will easily be forgotten if you uphold the ideas learned in them. Okay, well, I only know one good song, so, uh, here, I got you. Oh, hold uh. on. I fucked it up, but that, uh... <laughs> Absolutely like amazing. A... Hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> indeed. 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 Hmm. Probably oh. one of the most dreadful instruments I've ever heard. But I'm sure it's good. It has nothing to do with it. <laughs> no. Hi, elves. Unmistakable. Whoever they are, or whatever they want. Gradia truly is the mixing pot of cultures. Hello, Shriek. How are you doing today? Uh, you know, going through the motions. And you? Terrible, but that's normal now. Terrible? What's going on? Uh, just tired and weak. <clears throat> Soma and Ladia think I haven't been eating enough, so I'm gonna swing by the tavern and get something else to eat. Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep yourself strong. Mm -hmm. Turn on that guardsman you can turn into a bear. Oh yeah. He's the only one I actually enjoy talking to a little bit because he's not a blatant cunt. <laughs> Fair enough. <sighs> Plus his face is priceless. I love the look. My life is divided between 
before I knew people could turn into bears and after. Mine too. Mine just, uh, the divine it is very much sooner than yours, probably. <clears throat> yeah, when do they tell you that? They don't really ever tell you that. It just kind of happens one day and they're like, oh yeah, by the way, you can do that. I feel like they sh you guys should be prepped, you know? You see, it's like, it's like, it's like when a toddler or a kid falls down and scrapes their knee and they look at you to see if you've reacted. Like, like if you express concern, then they feel the pain. It's kind of similar to that, where if you don't acknowledge that they've turned into a bear, they don't really care. Yeah, the trick is just not care about kids. Got it. I usually laugh when a kid falls over. Is that bad? <clears throat> I just realized I'm fucking muted. Uh... <sighs> So the trick is to just laugh at, at kids if they fall over, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. That's how I look at it. You see, because it's learning for them. They learn how to walk on their own. They learn how to be a bear on their own. Or that they can be a bear on their own. I was gonna say, I, I thought you guys were pretty, like, um, <clears throat> clan-orientated. Well, yes, but you can't coddle people in the north. That's how you get them killed. Yeah, but you could be like, hey, your body's going through changes, and then, you know, have that whole conversation. Well, yeah, we have that conversation after they change. Well, that doesn't really help, does it? Because you're going to tell them things they already know. Well, what's a, as a kid gonna believe you when you're like, hey, little kid, if you get fucked up <clears> bad, you're gonna turn into a bear. The guy who plays Dredge is called That's The Mountain Man to get them to go to sleep on Twitch. Night. Yeah, you had a very different upbringing to me. Also, if you tell them if you get hurt, you're gonna turn into a bear, then they start fearing getting hurt <clears> or turning into a bear. Or, so they want to get hurt. They turn into a bear, so then they... If someone walked up to me and said, if, if you got fucked up, you would turn into a bear, I would go out and jump off a roof or something. Afternoon, Vidora. There are some of them who do that. Hello, Vidora. Oh, dang. Were you able to figure out if, um, my idea would work or not? No. Sorry, a lot of okay. things came up when I was trying to think of it. No I problem. I still have ideas, but I'll have to get back on you on, get back to you on that. The cookie? Sure, no problem. Anyway, like I was saying... I don't, I don't need you. Um... You know... <clears throat> Actually, technically, we don't really ever know when they're going to transform for the first time. Because it's like, you never know when you're going to walk outside and your kid's on the roof like, Mommy, Daddy, look! And then they jump off, like, with a cloth shirt over their head thinking they can fly and they eat shit on the ground. Yeah, I knew you a guy who did really that. You never really predict when they're <clears throat> going to do that. Right, but, like, is there, like, a stage in your life where it's like, you're in bear stage now, and any time you get fucked up after this, you turn into a bear? Or, or like... If a, if a baby got, like, if I walked up to a baby and was like, would it turn into, like, a, a baby bear? How does it work? Yeah. Wow. The, the second one. <clears throat> Perfect, I don't even have to get up. Any sign of a bear? <gasps> Nay. No, that's a horse. Hmm. Didn't think so. Oh, well. Not... Oh look, a dagger. I'll throw you into the ocean, Twink. <laughs> I, I, I gen. Ooh, I'm gonna go somewhere. Yo, can't say that because mm, I've, yeah, I've it's... got people in my head. <laughs> uh... Count yourself lucky. Ah, uh, 
How lucky am I? <coughs> Just gonna fucking. This is your face. Yeah. Tell it to me. I'll get us all canceled. <laughs> no. Actually, Sif, it was along the lines of, what the hell is even that, you know? I see, I see. I heard that you had gotten some iron in. Are you using it already? I think so. I don't know how much we got in, or what we got in, or what it's going to be put towards. No one's told me shit, so... I'm just here. <clears throat> yeah, I know, right? <coughs> Ugh. Oh, never mind. Apparently, someone's injured out in the woods, and they need to go help them. That's like a so I'll just sit my daily big ass fucking back down fucking <clears throat> Man, no kidding. I'm gonna fucking uh, jam this shit that long. in my fucking goddamn. Yeah, that's how I was feeling this morning. Oh, I've been having the worst day with, like, my things. They just decide to stop working for no reason. And, like, the things that I thought I was getting ready for today, last night, <clears throat> you know, I, like, specifically made sure that they were doing the thing that they needed to be, to be ready, and they didn't for some fucking mm -hmm. reason. They, they were flashing the right colors and everything. Yeah, same. <clears throat> what the fuck? Yeah, same. And then all of the things that are supposed to track my movements weren't working, and I was late to session. <coughs> That's yeah. what you're saying. Oh my god. Are we the same person? God, I hope not. You're just me from the future? <laughs> that would fucking suck. If, if that's the case, I'm sorry for what's going to happen to you. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Strap in, big boy. We should build you a rocking chair. The people in my head are talking about it. You could just sit on your rocking chair and just, you know. <clears throat> well, tell the people in your head that I would love that. She'd love that. The rocking chair can be your hips. What? Don't give me that look. I ain't giving you a look. I'll bite my lip at you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, here she comes. You already got your shirt off. <clears throat> okay, but the knives stay on during sex. Okay. I can never place you, you know? Sometimes you just say really off-the-wall shit and I don't know how to react to it. Uh, if, if you travel anywhere near to settle, be careful. They have to kill a lot of spiders, so they're gonna be more pissed. I had no plans of going anywhere in that direction, but thank you. Just to give you the warning. I appreciate it. <clears throat> there they go again, running off into the woods. 
Shriek, what if that you was and very Ming got confusing out the and on. woke up in a spider cave together? It would involve this and this. Huh? Your knife and a hammer? No, this. Nothing, shut up. <clears throat> if I wake up in a cave full of spiders, I'm tapping out. I'm done. Like, that's that's me done. Like, see you next season, you know? Oh. <clears throat> oh, fair enough. I mean, I don't think they could capture you. are Dr. Pisshands, after all. <laughs> the slipperiest man in Gradio. That's right. The spider silk wouldn't even latch on. <laughs> Just... Like water off a duck's back. Mm -hmm. You know, there, are, there. Are, I have orders here that I'm looking at that was supposed to be done, that, that that people were supposed to pick up like ten days ago, and they just leave it. <clears throat> like what? I'll go yell at them for you. Uh, let's see. Uh, spearhead for, for Marin. That was, uh, supposed to be done on day 29. Uh, a sword repair for a man. That was supposed to be done on day 25. <clears throat> some guy's okay. dagger, some guy's sword. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, I'll go see if I can find Marin for you. I believe she already has it, but the, the issue is that... Once it does happen, it still stays on the sheet. Now, sometimes I'm like, oh, well, I guess they've already gotten it and it wasn't been removed from the sheet. But the fucking day I do that and remove it from the sheet, they show up every fucking time to get it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna remove it. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not in the mood to go walk around right now. It's fine by me. Some of the others have not been as talkative. Why is this? Scream. <clears throat> you wouldn't. You wouldn't scream. Ah! Oh shit, he did. As soon as I fucking move, I just want to... I hear things so hard, Sif. I don't know. I'd take the stress away if I could. <clears throat> just fucking kill me, dude. You insisted, but I don't think Zeem's gonna like it very much. No, nah, he understands. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I think he asked Tyr to gather as many apples as possible so we could eat them. You know, like a lot of apples, just the cores. Oh, I see, I see. That's the most, that's the most nutrient-rich part, though. It's, it's got some interesting nutrients. 
Hello, Sherry. How can I help you? I need a weapon sharpened. I can do that. <clears throat> it is quite low. I have huh. used them sometimes, so. That's Gradian steel, if I'm not mistaken. A gift to me. <laughs> they must have liked you quite a bit. <clears throat> Start her up, Sif. They did. God damn, in order to fucking have this shit not break on me, I have to sit in the weirdest fuck. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, so you don't have to sit in the weirdest place possible. How is things at the Carter's Guild? It is going well enough. The guards haven't done anything stupid yet. A pity. I was looking forward to taking some. Ah, oh, you've better find some wood and knock on it. There's a considerable amount around us. <coughs> Not getting tired, are you, Sif? Yeah, I am actually. All right, that should be fine then. Don't go uh, straining yourself. <clears throat> That'll be four silver. <laughs> right. Oh no, they're mad dogging me. Oh god, they're dead. God, they're really dying. <laughs> dying. <clears throat> I was dying once. They locked me in a room. A room with dies. <laughs> a room with no trackers, and trackers make me die. Dying? I, I was dying once. <clears throat> and this was a very nasty headache. My apologies. I got your sword for you. Thank you. Where did shit go? So, there's also there. an inquiry. I hmm. wouldn't mind having you pass along to, just running away these to days. Tazim. I would like to spa with either of you. Huh. You see, you've done um, jobs for me in the past, and I've seen you both carry equipment. Let's simply put it as inquiry. I can bring it over to Zim, see what he thinks. Hmm. If he's not into it, then I'll Do try and give you a run for your money. Just tell them that he would be fighting someone who was a shield by then. I if see. That means anything to him. No, I think he's aware. <sighs> I'll bring it up with him. But thank you for this the one. This one is far old men. <laughs> I'm not exactly young. <clears throat>